This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 9, and it reads, Thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with diverse seeds, lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakah HaKodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh, meaning he exists. Bahashem in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning he delivers. He saves. Bahashem in the name. Rakaha Kwadash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathiam, listen and listen and learn in sincerity and in truth and in silence, Shalawam. Right, Akyam meaning brothers, Akwathiam meaning sisters, Shalawam meaning peace be unto you. All right now, I just wanted to touch this article real quick, you know, as I'm uh, doing some research and I. Uh, there's this act called the Precision, the Precision Breeding Act, <clears throat> Salakia, which has been, uh, it's in its uh, final, final phases of uh, being passed in the UK, right? Precision Breeding Act. Right, Genetic Technology Precision Breeding Act 2023. Right, so this is in its fi final phases over there in the UK, and it is without delving into this too too heavy, right? Um, it looking into it led me to this article that I want to bring that I want to touch on, right? So, this one right here, right. It says the FAO assesses the impact of gene editing on food safety. April 22nd, 2023. The hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. It is not essential to create a brand new set of regulations for gene editing and food safety, according to the FAO, which is the acronym for the food the acronym acronym for the Food and Agriculture Organization. The F the FAO reviewed food safety issues related to gene editing and said while approaches may vary many countries have found a way to include gene edited foods in an existing regulatory category to manage such issues gene editing is different from genetic modification gmos where dna from one species is introduced to another one gene edited organisms produce changes that could be made slowly using traditional breeding methods right so what does that mean they, 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 they the, the, the traditional breeding methods, meaning animals will, 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 mammals will mate and bear offspring, right? But these, these, these scientists, they edit, they edit the genes, right? Gene editing is a group of techniques, a group of techniques that can be used to breed new plant varieties Right, animal breeds, right, breed new animal breeds and microbial strains for agricultural purposes, right? You see, there, there's the there's the there's the buzzword. Agricultural purposes. We know this man's a wicked man. Right? And here and 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 they they hide everything with uh smooth words. Right? It can potentially increase food production and contribute to sustainability. And climate change resilience, right? That's the that's the smooth words, man. Let's get that scripture, right? Words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Psalms 58. Smoother. Right? But in his hands were drawn swords. Psalms 55 verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, right? What is, what is an example? 
right there they're saying it will contribute to climate control and better 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 uh Increase food production and contribute to sustainability and climate change resilience. These guys are devils, they're demons, right? But war was in his heart, heart being mind, right? He wants to destroy the 12 tribes, right? This is all about a birthright. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords, right? He wants to kill Jake, right? Back into the opening scripture. Deuteronomy 22, verse 9. Thou shalt not sow the vineyard with diverse seeds. Right? You're looking at this word, diverse seeds. Right? Sow the vineyard. Plant the vineyard. This word here, Strong's H3610. Strong's H3610. Kill I am. Kill I am. Right? Two kinds, mixture, mixture of seeds, two different kinds. Forbidden practice among cattle. Crossbreeding. That's the point. Crossbreeding. Right? And this isn't the law. But, you know, Esau, Edom, he casts his instruction behind his back. Seeds, sewing, and cloth, garments, material. Right? We're not supposed to mix, wear, wear mixed garments. Right? But we're in Babylon. We're in, we're in Babylon. We're, we're, we're in captivity. We're not in control of the production of our, our food, our clothing, right? That's where Yahweh Shai comes in and covers us, right? It says here, uh, yeah, that's it on that. Let me see what the root, what the root word. Yeah, right. Where were we? Lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled, right? Defiled. It's word defiled. And this madman scripture says we shall eat our food defiled, we should eat our defiled bread among the Gentiles. Roughly paraphrasing. Right? This is Ezekiel the third or fourth chapter. It says here, defiled, to desecrate, profane, to make foul or dirty. Right? So the Lord's saying, if you do these things, you you sow your fields, your crops with diverse seeds, right? Different seeds. Crossbreeding of, of mammals. You're you're making your 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 crops foul and dirty, profane. Right? And this madman, he's doing these he's doing these he's doing these things right under people's eyes, man. Case by case assessment. The assessment found regulators had treated Gene edited organisms and food derived from them in the same way as novel foods, GMOs, or conventional products. Some countries require a case by case analysis of each product. FAO said it was desirable to avoid setting rules and regulations on process and production methods that do not directly impact product safety, including onerous requirements in the regulatory frameworks with a scientific basis, should be avoided. Otherwise, the implementation of such reg regulations can become a burdensome compliance issue rather than the ultimate ob objective of consumer protection. A gene-edited high oleic soy was launched in 2019 in the United States, and rice protected against bacterial blight disease was, was approved for, cultiv for cultivation Salakia, by the Colombian Agricultural Institute in 2020. Right, They're doing these things right under... So this is why we need Yahweh Shai, man. Right? Since we quoted the scripture. Ezekiel 4. Ezekiel 4 verse 13. And the Lord Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel, Israel being a people before a place, so-called indigenous, so-called Latino, so-called Negro, and speckled bird, Eat their defiled bread, polluted food, profane food, among the Gentiles, among these other nations. Whither I will drive them out, right? Because we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, right? So we need, there's nothing we can do. We need Yahweh Shai, man. 
right? Scripture says if the Lord didn't speed up the days, no flesh would be saved, roughly paraphrasing. Because this madman would destroy everything and himself. Look at this. There are a number of products being developed, such as bananas, protected against some viruses, cassava with, re with reduced cyanide levels, cassava with reduced cyanide levels, gluten-free wheat and swine protected against African swine fever. A review of Codex guidelines show that existing protocols such as food safety risk analysis and guidance on food safety assessment processes can be tailored and applied to the safety assessment of gene edited foods. Right, with ESA, everything can be tailored, man. The possible effects of gene editing on food safety, quality, and trade are not expected to be much different from what already exists on foods from pre existing breeding techniques, said the FAO. Right? Let's get another scripture. Um, James 3. Right, we need we need Yahweh Shai to come and tread on the neck of the heathen. Right? Because these diabol diabolical madmen are out of hand, man. James 3, verse 12. Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive trees? Salakia. Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries? Either are vine figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh, right? You're not going to get oranges from an apple tree, man. Right? Right? But this, this, this madman, he uh, presents, you know, he, uh, th this, is, this is good for the betterment of, 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 of the world, of people, right? Right here it says English, England recently passed the genetic technology precision breeding. Right, that's the act. Uh, act covering precision bred plants and animals. Precision breeding involves using technologies such as gene editing to adapt the genetic code of organisms. Stricter regulations remain in place for genetically modi modified organisms (GMOs). The aim is to help farmers grow crops that are drought and disease resistant. See that. Their, their, their words of their mouth are smoother than butter. Right? Reduce the use of fertilizers and pesticides and breed animals that are protected from catching diseases. These people. There are no labeling requirements for precision bred products under the act. You see that? So you're going to be in a store shopping for food. Right? But there's no requirements for it to be labeled on the products. The Food Standards Agency, FSA, will, constant, will consult Salakia on new food and feed legislation and produce a risk assessment for precision bred food and feed. Mm -hmm. These people are wicked, man. Right? The European Commission is also working on a new regulatory approach for new genomic techniques which includes precision breeding. Precision breeding techniques for agriculture are not supported by the government in Wales and Scotland. However, food produced using these methods in England can be sold in Scotland and Wales under the UK Internal Market Act. These devils are wicked, man. Right? All legislation and paperwork, piles of paperwork and piles of legislation and clauses and subsection 1, section J. You know what I mean? These people are wicked. All right, we need you have a shy. Isaiah 47, verse 10. And it reads, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, you, you, you Idumians, these ruling class elites, Rome 2.0, right? America the Great, Babylon the Great, you trust in your wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me, right? Clandestine, behind closed doors, buried in, in, in paperwork. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge that have perverted thee, your wisdom and your knowledge, right? That's why you're puffed up. Scriptures say knowledge puffeth up, right? It has you perverted. Let's look at this word pervert.
pervert. Late 14th century, to turn someone aside from a right religious belief to a false or erroneous one. To distort natural order, right? Misdirect. Misapply justice, law, truth, etc. To turn something or someone from right opinion or conduct, right? These, the, the Esau Edom is perverted, right? And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me, right? You, you, listen, your pride is, you're, you're puffed up, man. Right? These devils got to go, man. 1 Corinthians 15 39 And it reads All flesh is not the same flesh But there is one kind of flesh of men Salakia But there is one kind of flesh of men Another flesh of beasts Another of fishes And another of birds Right? You can't cross the two You can't cross none of them man Right? But this diabolical madman will have you believing. Right? That you can do these things and gene edit and, and, and pre precision breeding in, 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 in disguises for the better for the better of mankind. Right? With that, I pray you're edified. I don't want to say prayer to pray without ceasing. Shalom to the hopeful elect.